Chapter One, Exercise One Point One One Seven. A pure copper sphere has a radius of zero point nine two six inches. How many copper atoms does it contain?、Uh, we have the formula for the volume of a sphere and the density of copper. How many atoms? So first we can determine the number of moles, and then multiply it by the Avogadro constant. But how do we get the number of moles? We need the mass and molar mass. The molar mass of copper is 63.55 gram per mole. Now, what about the mass? We have the volume, we have the density, and then we can get the mass. Actually, we only know the radius, but we just plug in the radius to get the volume. There's one thing we need to pay attention: inch. Centimeter, and one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So now let's、uh, work on this problem. We have the formula for sphere: five over three times pi times r to the power of three. All right.、Uh, this is the volume of this copper sphere. Uh, what we need to do is we need to convert、uh, this many inches to centimeters. All right. Now we have、uh, you can see 54.5 cubic centimeters, and now multiplied by the density, 8.96 gram per cubic centimeter. Now we have the mass of this. Copper sphere in grams, and that's not enough. We have the grams. We need to convert it. So I put everything in the parentheses. Four hundred eighty-eight grams, and then divided by sixty-three point five five gram per mole.、Uh, now we have the number of moles.、Uh, we have seven point six eight moles of copper. Finally, we convert it to the number of atoms.、Uh, you do need to know the Avogadro constant,、uh, which is six point zero two two times e to the power of twenty three.、Uh, now we'll get the answer.、Uh, it's four point six times ten to the power of twenty four.、Uh, let's check the sig figures. We just did mostly. Multiplication and division, and、uh, we have three six figures here, three six figures here. So、uh, in the end, we need to keep three figures: four point six three times ten to the power twenty four. So again, this is just r in centimeters. And over here, we have the formula for volume of a sphere: four over three times pi times r cubed. That's the volume multiplied by the density in grams per cubic centimeter, and then we have the grams. The number of grams divided by the molar mass, we get the number of moles. Finally, this number of moles multiplied by the Avogadro constant,、uh, we get the number of atoms. So again, it's four point six three. Times ten to the power of twenty-four.